Happily Ever Paper Crafter and today is another day of the 12 days of Cricut. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I make a garland, a simple Christmas garland um, to decorate your home or your tree or um, whatever you like. So today I'm starting out with just two pieces of paper. They are from the Echo Part Very Merry Christmas line. This one is called Poinsettia and it's got green with like some stripes and poinsettias on the back. And this one is called Large Ornaments. It's green with some, I mean red with some stripes. And then these beautiful ornaments on the other side. So I am using the Doodle Charms Cricut cartridge. And the cut I'm going to be using are actually these three circles right up here. Um, so that's on the shift and it's like off of this snowflake one. But I'm, I'm just gonna make a simple circle garland. So before I make a cut, what I usually do is do some sizing. And this is just some plain white uh, computer paper that I used. And so I cut the three, the three circles using three different sizes. This was three inches, this was two inches, and this was two and a half inches. And I think this is too big, too small, Perfect. So I'm going to use the two and a half inch size. So I'm going to quick put the paper on my mat and I'll show you over at my Cricut how I'm going to get this cut. Okay, so I have my Cricut all set. I have the Doodle Charms cartridge loaded and I have my keypad on and I've got it all turned on ready to go. As you can see, I already have it sized to two and a half because that was the last size that I picked. So I'm going to load my mat and the cut again was on the shift so I'm going to hit shift and this is the one I'm going to use off of the snowflake and just to make sure that's the one I want, I want two and a half inches, I'm going to make sure that my blade is set, how thick is this, to six and my pressure's up to the max and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Paper Saver and then I'm going to hit Autofill. Paper Saver will make all the images um, cut very close together and save my paper. And the Autofill, my machine knows I have a 12 by 12 on here and it will fill it full of my cuts. So that's exactly what I want to happen. I want to get the most bang for my buck out of this sheet of paper. So when I hit Cut, it's going to tell me it's going to cut 16 times on this page. So then I just sit back and let her cut. I've already cut out my red circles and here are my green circles all cut out. And then what I um, have been doing is taking off one size at a time and putting them to the side just so I don't get them mixed up. And then I have all three, because it looks like they're all three different sizes. And I have them all organized. Okay. Okay, so now we're in the process of actually creating the garland. I have all my circles lined up and then I've organized them so they make a pattern. The big green, the medium red, the small green, the big red, the medium green, the small red. And what I'm using for string is Rustic Cream Button Twine from Paper Tray Ink. And I'm just creating the garland right off the spool. And I used a little swatch. Um, this is going to be my measuring guide to make sure that all my circles are spaced well apart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn each circle over and apply some glue and the adhesive that I'm using is the Scotch quick dry adhesive and I'm going to put a fair amount of glue on each circle because it has to hold the other circle and it has to go through the twine so what I'm going to do is I'm going to oops I'm going to bring these down one by one and put them here so we're measuring, got the measuring guide. 
And then I just grab the matching circle and sandwich it on top. And the, um, this glue holds really, really well. And it also dries clear, which is good. And it dries fast. So I prefer to use this liquid glue when I need liquid glue. Now you could put score tape on here. Um, or you could just use some tape runner, but I prefer glue just because it seems to go faster. So I just want to hold each of them for a sec just to make sure that they're glued tight enough. Just keep pulling them. And this process is working pretty good and pretty fast. I've already made a couple feet of this garland using this and it has not taken very long, which is good. And so I'm just gonna keep sandwiching, sandwiching, sandwiching until I run out of circles. Um, and you can see they're gonna be the same color on both sides so it doesn't matter how your garland hangs, it's going to um, be the same color on both sides so it can be all flippy and it doesn't matter. All right, I'll show you when we're all done. And so here's our completed garland. Um, it measures about eight and a half, nine feet long. It would have been longer but I had wasted some circles trying to do a different thing so I've already got it all jumbled up. So there's our garland and I'm gonna be showing you some pictures Later I'll post them on my blog um, for when I actually hang it up for my Christmas decorations. I'll show you how I hang it and where I'm going to hang it. Don't know yet, but so there's our Christmas garland.